Hey everyone, Jamie here from TechnicalCafe.com. Welcome to your third CSS tutorial. In the last tutorial we talked about using selectors in CSS in order to choose what we want to uh, change with our CSS code. Um, so in the last tutorial we actually talked about using uh, element selectors which we can use to change every single element within an HTML web page. Um, so for instance if we have two paragraphs like we do right here and we use an element selector to change the paragraph's font color, it'll change the font color for both of these both of these paragraphs as well as any other paragraphs that might be on the page. The same would also go for if we have a header uh, or two or three maybe four uh, headers of the same type it would change all of those headers to the same uh, whatever you wanted to change it to. So uh, in this tutorial we're going to be learning, learning about something else which is ID selectors and ID selectors are similar to element selectors it's pretty much a similar setup uh, except that ID selectors actually allow you to choose individual elements. So for example, uh, with these two paragraphs that we have here, uh, we can use an ID selector to choose just one of these paragraphs to work with and edit instead of both of them. And this also works for links, headers, anything else that you can basically use in HTML, uh, you can throw an ID selector on. And uh, this is also useful for when you're using divs and you want to have like, uh, let's say, a particular div styled in a particular way. Uh, instead of styling every div in the same way using an element selector, you could also use an ID selector or perhaps even a class selector, which we'll talk about in the next video. So uh, let's take a look at our code here. Uh, this is pretty much the similar, uh, almost the same website that we had uh, during our last tutorial. I just changed the code on our title here. Um, so what we have here is a basic HTML web page other than the fact that we've included our style sheet um, externally into our styles.css file here. Um, however, this is blank, so no styles are being applied to the web page that we have right here. So, um, let's say, for example, that we want to style this paragraph here that says, Welcome to your third CSS tutorial, uh, and some other stuff there. So, instead of using the paragraph selector in CSS, what we're going to do is we're actually going to come over and we're going to use uh, an ID selector. And an ID selector um, is a little bit different than uh, the element selector that we used in the last tutorial, in that you need to use a little bit, you need to add something to the the selector before you actually go about using it. So, uh, in addition to that, you also need to add something to the to the tag that you're using in uh, HTML. So, uh, we want to change this tag right here that says "Welcome to your third CSS tutorial," which is about using ID selectors in CSS. What we want to do is to identify it is add an ID attribute to the paragraph element. So, we're going to say ID equals, and then within these two quotation marks, uh, we're just going to call this let's say first underscore paragraph. And you don't have to have a underscore, um, you can just put them both together, but uh, just for the sake of spacing the words out, we're going to use first underscore paragraph. So uh, let's save this, and if we come over here to our web page and refresh, you'll notice that everything is still the exact same, other than the fact that in our code, we added uh, an ID to this paragraph so that it's unique. Um, we can actually add another ID to this one if you want to, and say ID equals, and then we can say second paragraph or we can just say first and second, whatever you want to do. Um, so let's actually come into our uh, CSS code here after we save this, and we're actually going to try to select our uh, paragraphs. So this oh, right here called first paragraph, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to type in um, the ID selector, and in order to select an, an individual ID, unlike using an element selector, you have to append a hash mark or a number sign, whatever you want to call it, um, which is shift 3, and it's going to add uh, a number sign to your code, and what that number sign means is that you're selecting an individual element. So, for example, if we say uh, number sign first paragraph, this means that we're selecting the first paragraph uh, on this page here. So, p id equals first paragraph. We're selecting the, the paragraph element, um, which has the ID of first paragraph. So, uh, it's pretty simple. If we wanted to select the second paragraph, we'd just go second paragraph uh, with our hash mark or number sign, pound sign, whatever you want to call it, appended in front. So now that we've selected our first paragraph, or this paragraph right here, uh, let's change the color of it to, we'll say change the color of it to green. So what we want to do is we want to come over here, and if you remember from the previous tutorial, we actually want to open up a code block, and we'll drop it down a little bit, and what we're going to do is anything inside of this code block here is going to affect uh, this paragraph right here. Um, even though we didn't add anything in the HTML, it's going to change the way that this this uh, paragraph element is displayed on, on the web page. Right now it's on the default, which is just uh, plain black text, um, whatever the default text is. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into here, and we're going to come over here and tab in just to indent and make it look a little nicer. And we're going to say color, and we're going to add a colon for our uh, selector here, and we're going to give this selector a value. 
of uh, green. And then we're going to end this with a semicolon. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this, come on over here and take a look. And you'll notice that our paragraph here changed to green. And uh, in the previous tutorial, when we changed just uh, the paragraph selector, both of these paragraphs would have been green. So, for example, if we took out this and just said P, like we did in the previous tutorial, it would change the value of every uh, anything that was in, within a paragraph tag. So this would be changed, this would be changed, and if we added anything within here, uh, which we just used for spacing purposes, uh, it would also be changed. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, it's not making it green. Ah, because I didn't save this. Okay. So if we refresh, you'll notice that this is also green. Uh, and if we add any more paragraphs, like for example, uh, we type something in here, we'll say, hey, that is also going to be green. So um, this is why ID selectors are useful. They're used to select just one thing. Um, so we'll go back to first underscore paragraph. So if we come over here and refresh, just our first paragraph is green. Um, so let's say, for example, we, want, we wanted to do the same thing with a link. Um, we have both Google and Yahoo here. Let's say we wanted to change the link color to uh, red and remove the... So what we can do here is uh, we can add in, uh, an ID to the link. So we'll say ahref equals google.com, and we'll say ID equals, and we'll call this Google. And now uh, this is just going to be our ID for the Google link. So if we save this and come over to our web page and refresh, you'll notice that the Google link is still the exact same thing, uh, but in the source code, we've added an ID to the A or anchor tag. So let's come over to styles.css, uh, drop that down there, and we'll use our hash sign to uh, reference the ID. So we'll say uh, Google, and then we'll open up a code block, and we'll uh, indent, and we'll say uh, text decoration, and we'll give a colon here and we'll say none, and then we're going to add another thing here, and we're going to say color for our selector, and we're going to say blue. So what we're going to have here is we have one selector that's text-decoration uh, with the value of none, and then we have another one which is color uh, semicolon, it's color colon rather, uh, which is blue and then a semicolon at the end. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, now this, here's our link, it looks just like the Yahoo link, even though it's uh, visited, it still looks active, uh, just because we changed the color to blue, just a coincidence there, and we removed the underline, however, when you click the link, it still works. Um, so this is how you go about using ID selectors in CSS, it's very simple, um, and you'll find that if you're programming in CSS or writing CSS code, uh, these will probably come in handy a decent amount of time. So uh, if you like this tutorial, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, you can also leave comments with any questions, comments, or suggestions. And you can also use the technicalcafe.com contact form to send me an email if you want to. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, twitter.com slash jamiemcg, and twitter.com slash technicalcafe. Um, either of those I'll answer, so uh, feel free to contact me there if you'd like. And if you have any suggestions for any tutorials that you'd like to cover within CSS or anything else, uh, please feel free to send those in and I'll take a look and we'll see what's going on. So thank you for watching and have a great day.